Hello my lovelies, welcome to a 7th grade video. I'm Miss Smith and today we're going to do an activity called homonym clarity. Let's get started. So what are homonyms? Homonyms are two or more words having the same spelling or pronunciation, but different meanings and origins. With that information, let's try to do two examples. The directions say, look at each homonym group. Decide which word matches each definition written below the group. Write the word beside its definition. So for our first set of words, we have do, do, and do. The definitions at the bottom are unpaid slash owing, water droplets, and perform. Let's start with our first word. D-O do is to perform something, so that's where that word belongs. Now let's try D-U-E do. This word is the one that we use when things need to be turned in at a specific time. So this word belongs next to unpaid slash owing. Our last word is D-E-W, do. This word is the one we use when we see water droplets on leaves in the morning. So it belongs next to water droplets. Let's try the next set of words. For this set, we have scent, scent, and scent. The definitions for this set are odor, coin, and mailed. Let's start with the definition coin. The word C-E-N-T, scent, is currency. So that's the word that belongs with this definition. How about the definition odor? The word S-C-E-N-T, scent, is the word we use for smell. So this word goes with the odor definition. Our last definition is mailed. That goes paired with S-E-N-T, sent. Like when you've sent a text message to your friends. Today we learned that some words, although they sound the same, can be spelled different and have different meanings. How can you guys apply this information to the essays or the emails that you write to your teachers? Thanks for learning with me. Take care.